Today we are going to show you the basic operation of a portable 800 megahertz radio on Michigan's Public Safety Communication System, or MPSCS for short. We will be demonstrating a Motorola Apex 6000 800 megahertz portable radio. The radio you're using might be a different model or manufacturer, but you should have similar function and the process is the same. Prior to the use, make sure you turn the radio off and charge it overnight. This is critical. The morning of your event, remove the radio from the charger and turn on. To communicate with others in your event group, you will need to change your radio to your event talk group. Think of a talk group like a chat room for a radio, where only one person can talk at a time. Press the function key to change zones. Use the up and down arrow keys on the four-way navigation button to locate the correct zone. The light blue bar indicates the current zone as you scroll. Once you have located the correct zone, press the function key under select to that zone. Next, rotate the knob on top of the radio to the correct event or position. The large button on the right side is the push to talk. To begin your transmission, Hold the radio upright about three to six inches in front of your face, and then press and hold the push to talk and wait for the chirp sound. Continue to hold the push to talk button and speak directly into the front of the radio. Release the push to talk button at the end of your transmission. The emergency button is an orange button on top of the radio that is used to alert the dispatch center in the event of a life-threatening emergency. Don't push the emergency button unless a condition exists. If you accidentally press the emergency button, you must immediately press and hold the orange button until a long, steady tone sounds, then release to clear. It may take up to 30 seconds for the emergency to clear off the screen. Do not press the button again. Do not simply rotate through talk groups or shut the radio off. This will not clear the emergency. Then, immediately, call the Network Communications Center at 517-333-5050 and advise them of the false emergency.